Hi, this is Agustin. We're hiking uh, a trail through a uh, beach, a uh, forest in the Basque Mountains, just a half hour away from San Sebastian. You can find places like this, greenery is lush, full of uh, fabulous trees and nature. My name is Gonzalo, but everyone calls me Gonchu, so you can call me Gonchu also. And I will be your guide uh, once you come here to the Basque Country, beautiful landscape that we have here around. And I will guide you um, on this mountain, so I'm looking forward to meeting you. Ciao, guys! Here we are, your two guides, Hi. all by themselves, <laughs> we promise we won't get lost, <laughs> you know what we're doing, we've been here before, yes, yes. see you soon. <laughs> surrounded by narcissos these beautiful uh, flowers that uh, uh, bloom bloom up uh, these this, this days of the year in February and you know the the history of Narciso this guy that uh, found himself so pretty that he went every day to the lake to to see to the lake no and he was looking this guy so beautiful handsome was his reflection on the on the lake he fell in love of, of, of himself and one day he decided to, to jump into the lake but he, he didn't know how to swim. It's a sad story. But well, that's what happened to Narciso and here we are with his flowers. keep walking on this trail finding all kind of trees we saw so far many beech trees we know there are chestnut trees in the area oak trees palm oak trees some and uh, flowers are starting to blossom we just got to see the uh, field covered on narcissos flowers there are different streams of water flowing the sound of the water rushing down the, the hill on our way to a hidden uh, little town in the valley. And you can hear the sound of the waterfall. We're enjoying a break, a relaxing break out of the city while we enjoy nature at its best. So we are now at this water reservoir built in the 1950s, recently emptied, they released all the water, this is what we got now, a river flowing through the big wall that is still standing here and uh, we think they won't uh, demolish the whole wall as we were told as they cannot um, is useful useless sorry it's totally useless they cannot um, use this concrete for building anything else in the area 
and taking this out will damage more the environment than keeping it by itself here. As we approach to this uh, town, hidden uh, deep in the valley, we found the first building, this uh, little church of St. Augustine, my church. And we start to see the rest of the buildings in town. This area one time was owned by the church then expropriated to the church and privately owned and always rented for mining. All right. Till it was sold to the city of San Sebastian in the early 20th century. Then later declared as a protected area. No one is allowed to come unless you have a permit. by car, you can always come on foot. We are in front of this uh, particular house. This is a traditional Basque house, four-story building. At the very top, they would store all the grain. You see the wooden uh, windows and frames. It's kind of a half-timbered uh, building. You can see they're storing wood for the winter. No one is living now in this uh, town. It's pretty much... Uh, the rangers were taking care of this, who are maintaining all these buildings. Okay, we can see a building which used to be a hydroelectric power station. It's until 1980. 